Hey all, my name is Kurt. Welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. This is the Wiz Kid Trenton. Nope. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Nope. Pretty much. Hey, we've, Trenton, we've had a lot of people ask us about double oak bourbons. Okay, in the comments, so forth. Can we review them? Can we suggest some? Okay. Uh, gentleman named Larry. He's the one. Larry, I apologize, it's taken a while, but we are going to get to it tonight. He suggested several times asking if we could do a review on double oak bourbons. So I discussed it with you. You thought, let's blind them. Yeah. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. That was my idea. Yeah, it, was. <laughs> it was. Full credit goes to me for that. That's right. See, I'm just that kind of a dad. Full credit goes to the kid. Yeah. It's all good. So that's what we're going to do. I thought that'd be a good idea. Well, you know, we'll go through some of these uh, uh, double barreled, double oaked bourbons and we'll blind test them. So a little bit of an explanation for everybody. Uh, probably most of you already know, but we're not discussing finished bourbons per se with sherry finishes or wine finishes or anything like that. These are actually double barreled in, in oak barrels, okay? This Davies County here is about 50 bucks. It's 96 proof, and it was finished in a fresh Missouri white oak number two charred barrel with toasted heads. So the top and the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Okay. Different. And you'll see as we go along, all of them have their little different ways of of, of rebarreling the whiskey to get the taste profile they want. So the Starlight bottle right here, it's 60 bucks, 96 proof, okay, but it's finished in Moreau van Vanilla Toasted Oak Barrels, all right? Elijah Craig Toasted, all right? Elijah Craig Toasted is 55 bucks and it is 94 proof. Now this one here is finished in toasted barrels, but then they were flash charred. Whatever that According means. to the description. I thought you would know that, you're the whiz kid. No, that's why I said I'm not the whiz kid, <laughs> I don't know. I thought you'd know that one. All right, the very popular Old Forester 1910. Uh, and for the longest time, Trent, honestly, I didn't even know that was a double I, barrel bourbon. I didn't know that until yesterday when Is you asked right? me about it yeah. yeah yeah i learned that a little while ago. i know i liked it yeah that's all i knew uh, for the longest time i didn't even know to tell you the truth so this one is roughly about 55 dollars. it is 93 proof and it's um it's finished in lightly toasted and then heavily charred barrels don't ask me okay i was I going could, to <laughs> i could see the mind turning i can see his head turning if somebody wants to explain that in the comments if they know because it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me but ask him what you want to explain well like how can you have something lightly toasted and heavily charred i feel like it would be all like one or the other yeah now when i was when i was preparing for this it basically said it was lightly lightly toasted first and then heavily charred so okay a, a good explanation would be nice so if you folks have a better explanation than what i have that would be fantastic last but not not least trenton the ever popular woodford double oak right can't, can't beat it right about 50 bucks 90.4 proof and this one is finished in deeply toasted oak barrels that is lightly charred okay. so as you can see it kind of it kind of plays around with little with different toastings chars things like that to come up with the flavor profiles that they want in these particular bottles. Okay. It's kind of interesting. So, Trent, let's move these bottles out of the way and let's get let's get to some tasting. Let's get to the good part. Right, honey? Right. My lovely wife has poured all of our glasses. Your mom's poured all the glasses for us, Trenton. And they're numbered one through five. One on my right, one on your right, five on the left. So. I will let you pick which direction you want to head first, Trent. And, and your mom is the only one that has the key tonight. Michelle's not able to be with us tonight. So Rebecca's the only one that knows what each one of these are. We don't have a slightest idea. I always start with one just because it's it's easier for me. I'm lame. I'll pick number one. Let's we'll start with that one. I'm, I'm fine with that. Number one, let's get it on. Let's do it. Now, two of these I haven't had. What'd you say? <laughs> You know, I don't know why. I, you know, your mom starts laughing. I said, let's get it on. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm sure I'll get comments about that. I don't do that stuff on purpose. I really don't. It just comes out. Now, two of these I haven't had. I haven't had the Starlight 
Yes. I've had Starlight products, but not the Double Oak, right. and I haven't had the Davies County. That just came out right. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and, and I've had a little bit, Trent, but I haven't had much at all, to tell you the truth. It's nice and light, but it the really one has I, a nice Double Oak. The one sorry. I haven't had, Elijah Craig Toasted. I know that sounds weird, but I've never had it because it's Trenton's bottle. I haven't, I haven't had it in probably a year and a half. So I haven't I'm had that gonna... one at all, so. Nose is nice. You know what the nose is like? It's a little toasty. No. It's almost <laughs> it like is. lightly toasted, but heavily <laughs> charred on the nose, you know? Perfect. I love it. Mm. That's really sweet. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm excited about is that we, we normally cover higher proof stuff. Yeah. So yeah. these are all and 90s. That was the nice part about it. Uh, this is all right there in the 90s, so the proof is, is, is extremely close. But that one, Trenton, is very sweet, in my opinion. Very maple-y, syrupy. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit of fruit in the background there. A little thin. Yeah, that's, that's possible. But, yeah. I, I agree with you there. A little I bit definitely get the, the maple I'm with syrup you kind of. Yeah. Like an Aunt Jemima syrup almost. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's just like, it's very sweet. Though. It is. It is very sweet. I haven't had something that sweet in a while. Probably because mm -hmm. I'm drinking the higher proof stuff all the time. Probably. But. That's really good. All right, let's move it on to number two. Wow. Ooh, I like this nose a lot better. That's more maple syrupy. Yeah. Love, right? I love this. The color's really nice. It's got some brown sugar in the nose, a little maple syrup, and a little syrupy in the nose. Mm. I don't get a lot of oak. Mm. Do you? Not a lot. Wow. That's really, it's like really like maple syrupy. That's, yeah. That's really kind of all I get. This is sweet too, and I don't think it's quite as sweet as number one. No, this is In less my sweet. opinion. So there is some, there is some more uh, baking spice notes in this one, I think. More like a nutmeg thing, but with the syrup. Yeah. With that as well. It's like this In my elevated. Opinion. Yeah. But I there think are. so too. Now, when you edit this thing, are you going to be showing everybody what, what bottles we're tasting? Yeah, I'll put down what we're so tasting. So we can look as silly as possible. Yeah. Yeah, I figured you would. Okay, let's do number three. I also didn't know that Old Forester Ooh. 1910 was 93 proof. I thought it was up there with Prohibition style. Oh, no, yeah. So, mm -hmm. no. Prohibition, the, the 1920 is the only one that has the high proof. Now, this is this is like heavily toasted but lightly charred. That's what I get. <laughs> this is a completely different nose than, it the, is completely. than the first two. It's not the syrupy. Honestly, honey, I hear, this is almost like freshly, freshly sawn wood shavings. Yum. <laughs> Are we talking cedar or what? No. <laughs> Pine two by fours, baby. Ooh. It's the, it's no, that's a good smell. It's kind of like that, actually. <laughs> mm. Dang, it is. Mm. It's like you put wood shavings in a smoothie. I'm not too fond I'm of it. Not that, a huge brother. fan. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I was at somebody's house and company and they poured me that, I'd drink it. It's yeah. not god awful. But compared to the first two, and then hold a candle to the first two. That's not sweet at all. No, and it's, it's a little really bit, woody. It's very woody. He's absolutely correct. It's a very woody, and um, a little bit on the a little off putting. Off putting is a great word. We just can't. I gotta say. All right. I don't like to trash. Yeah. Trash it, but no, no, no. I, I drink it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we're, hey, we're doing a blind test, so we got to be honest about what we're doing here. Let's move on to number four, pal. Oh, I love this. I wonder oh, no. if there's something with yeah, how the with how these are like barreled or how they're mm -hmm. finished or whatever that yeah. really lends a heavy maple note. Because this one, this one, and this one, I right. get heavy maple on it. Yeah, but it's between maple and just and actually pancake syrup. Yeah, you know, it, it does. You're right. You're right about that. It's like a nice. Uh, Maple frosted cake donut from Meyer. That's a good. That's a good one. <laughs> it took me a while to swallow that because I would have spit mine out. What did you say it was? Like a cake, like a maple frosted cake donut from Meyer. Have you ever have one of those? Those are good. Nobody, I haven't. You got it. those are good. But these hey, are you know what? I like that. So if that's what the yeah. maple frosted donut tastes like, kick it's donut, I'm in. I'm gonna say that's not what I would describe that. No, my wife is a donut connoisseur. Are you not? 
Yes, you are. Cupcakes, donuts. <laughs> yes, you are. I like that, buddy. That's nice. There's something on the finish that I can't quite identify as a flavor. Like it's yeah. bitter, bitterness. Okay, I'm, I'm following you. There. I think that's a little bit of maybe some oak tannin maybe on okay. the end of it. I had it in my mouth almost laughing so hard the first time. I didn't catch it the first sip, but on the second sip I did a little bit. Do you know, do oak tannins come from a, a younger age statement whiskey? Well, that's when you, you do tend to see those more okay. in younger whiskeys. And I apologize, I do not know uh, the original age of barreling of each particular whiskey we're tasting tonight. All I did was look up the finish process of the okay. double barrel. So one might be younger than the other. There's no okay. doubt about that. So you on five? Yep. Again. Again? It's lighter though. Yeah, it's lighter. Yeah, much lighter, but a little syrupy. <laughs> if you like syrup, you can't go wrong with any of these. Maybe mm -hmm. number three, mm -hmm. but the, the other four. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, to me, number five lands in the middle of number three and the rest of them. Yep. To me, well, let's, you know, we're, we're done with our one through five. For me, Trent, without question, number number three is, is last place. Yeah. Did you uh, get some, like, tobacco? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You get a little bit more... Um, <laughs> rough type of a flavor in there like a tobacco notes and things like that in there for sure Weird. it's not a sweet right yeah it's not sweet it's drinking this almost tastes like being in the car with somebody who's smoking it's it's weird <laughs> well i don't want another sip of that at all ow <laughs> my tooth <laughs> at this point dude yeah. that was disgusting in what manner just like it just it, it's got something. It's like a secondhand smoke kind of. <laughs> I don't get that, but I, I will go with I will go with him. It's got it does have some like of a tobacco note and, and things of that nature in there. There's I agree with you on that, pal. I do. So for me, <laughs> but you know, so we're in agreement number, honey, we're in agreement number three is is, is our place. least favorite of the group, right? Yep, yep. So I'm with him, too. I, I mean, I, again, <clears throat> I would drink every one of these, to be oh, honest yeah. with you. Um, you know, some I'd be a little bit more happy about than others. But I agree with him, honey, too, that, um, that uh, number five would be in fourth place. Okay? So, Trent, let's go back to number one really quick. You have some water over there, too, if you need oh, it. Cool. Let's go back to number one. So we're dealing with one, two, and four, right? Hank? One, two, and four. No, it's not as much. Mm. I kind of know my next choice. Yeah. Number one's not nearly as good as. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, pal. It's, it's, it's pretty. I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's pretty decent. It's got a little bit of sweet notes in it. Um, it's got yeah. it's got a little like similar profiles, but these are just elevated, like they're richer, creamier, mm -hmm. more of a mouth feel. Right. This kind of just rolls off the back of the tongue. Yeah, and this doesn't some, leave much. It's got finish. some, you know, pretty heavy. Like a, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not as sweet as it lends. You, you just get a little bit of sweetness in there, and it gets a little bit of a baking spice note to it, but it really kind of falls flat compared to the other two. So I feel like this is Elijah Craig toasted. <laughs> he loves to do that, doesn't he? Eddie? That's my guess. Yeah, he loves to guess. We should see how guess. mad he was on the last live show. Nobody wants to talk about that. Because <laughs> how many he got wrong. That's why I don't do that. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Yeah, it's all right. It's fine. All right. I will. I, I'll tell you this, though, I Trent. You. I, I will reveal at the end of the show what what I thought my favorite was moving into this into this uh, line tasting. Okay. I won't do it right now, but I won't ruin it. But I will. I will divulge that, and I will be honest about that. Okay, where are we at? Where are you at? Number two. Yep. Man, the nose is like if you just crushed up sweet tarts and mixed it in maple syrup. I gotta go there. <laughs> just, just had to, just had to ruin it for me. This is legitimately. 
Honey, this is just literally pancakes and syrup. It is. I'm tasting that one more time. Super sweet. Yeah. Really <clears throat> nice. That's when I get a little bit of fruit note on the back end of it, too. Uh, definitely some brown sugar in there as well. Some syrup notes in there for us. Um, a little bit of fruit note in there for me, too. A little bit of vanilla. To be I do get a little vanilla on that. Yeah, a little bit of vanilla, too, in there. I'm going to do <clears throat> a drink real I know you me. haven't had four again, but I'm getting like a little bit of... Uh... Maybe just a little like oak tannin on the on the back there. Another beautiful nose, man. Wow. I really like the nosings of this double yeah. aged or double aged, double oaked stuff here. Really, really neat. Mm. Wow. It's tough. That almost gives me the syrup type note and like a pumpernickel note to it. Like a pumpernickel bread note in there, honey. It does, it really does, it's wonderful. All right, I know mine. Yeah, <clears throat> it, we might vary on this one, but I'm, I'm curious to see, I'm gonna let you go first, pal. I'll be honest, so go ahead. So, second place for me is gonna be number two. And first place for me is gonna be number four. Okay. I'll, I'll keep number four back. All right, well, I'll be honest with you. Okay, I really thought that you would pick number two as your first place. Really? I really did. I love, I can see a little bit of the pumpernickel. I love the pumpernickel. Uh, I'm surprised because bread. you that. know me. Yeah. You know me. Yeah. I'm all over that whole rye bread, pumpernickel bread, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. I love that stuff. <clears throat> and I, I sense that most in this glass and that's my palate personally. Number four is an excellent choice and it's very sweet. Number two. I apologize, thank you, honey. Number two is very sweet and, and really beautiful. A little bit of fruit notes in there too. But for my personal palate, I really enjoy this one the most. Wow, okay. Um, I, I am surprised. I know that, you are. <laughs> that you went with that. I thought he would go with number two, the sweetness. I mean, there's everything in that glass I thought you'd go with. So I'm surprised you went with that, with the pumpernickel note that I'm getting. So I will tell you this, honey, before you start revealing, so I can be honest about it, I thought my favorite of the group would be the Woodford Double Oak because I'm pretty fond of it, to tell you the truth. So I guess we're ready. Let's push all these back. I mean, your mom will do the reveal. She has kept track of everything during the show. <clears throat> and we will see what we have. What do we have then, babe? For last place, in fifth last place, place, was the Davies. Oh, no kidding. Is that number five? Yeah. I apologize. Fifth place was number three. Oh, number three. Okay. It's on your side, pal. Actually, I'll do this. We'll put that. Fifth place was the Davies. And you know what? We should do a show on the Davies product. Yeah. It's a luxury. These are luxury products. A lot of their stuff is pretty good, to be honest with you. And they're pretty... Uh, reasonably priced. Oh yeah, they are. we got to do a show on on the Davies County stuff. Although this one is in last place, so fifth place. All right, honey, what was in fourth place? Fourth place was number five. Number five, okay. And that was Elijah Craig. I was wrong. Wow, that's on your side too, bud. Okay. And I and this one I don't know. I, I really haven't had it, so I, I can't tell you about that. You know, and and. Does it surprise me? Does it not? I'm not sure. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews of the to the Elijah Craig Toasted. Yeah, and, I, and, and they're, I, not, they're not great ones. Okay, well, I think we were in complete unison on the first tasting through of our bottom two. Yep. Without question. Yep. So, take that as it is. All right, babe. What you got on number three? Number third or for third place? I'm sorry. Third place was number one. For one. And that was Starlight. Okay. Starlight. Okay. Now that's an Indiana distillery, right, Trenton? Yep. And they do some pretty good stuff. We got a honey barrel over there that they have that's delightful. It's very good. <laughs> it's really good. And this one's pretty decent. Yeah. Pretty decent. So, so which leaves us, babe, which doesn't surprise, doesn't surprise you that no. we have the 1910 Forester left, Old Forester, and the Woodford Double Oak. That doesn't surprise me. Nope. Surprise you either. So now 
we get to see what's second place and what's first. So this is going to be I'll, interesting. Go before ahead. Before you say, yeah, yeah. I also think that it's wood for double oak because I remember it having like a pumpernickel y kind of taste. Well, I'm hoping so. But because we'll see. If, <laughs> if we're wrong on that, then we're wrong. So, anyways, honey, let, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do it a little different. Usually I go what's in second place, but tell us what's in first place. First place yes. winner is Woodford Reserve. <laughs> All right. Well, that means that the Old Forester for us, the Old Forester 1910, came in second place, and the Woodford Double Oak came in first place. Now, Alex, I mean, as far as I was concerned, I, I I really enjoyed this 1910. Boy, super sweet. That's probably the sweetest of the bunch. Am I yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, is that how you how yeah. you thought it was? Extremely sweet. A lot of sweet flavors in there. Uh, and I actually got a little fruit note on the back of that, too. Very enjoyable, very sweet. But for me, I and that's why I really like the Woodford Double Oaked. It's just got that, that, that earthy. And it's got that earthy note to it. I love that stuff. That's good. You know, it's sweet up front. You get the pancakes and syrup, and then you get that pumpernickel rye, the earthy notes in there, too. That's really good. It's really good. It's really good. So, hey, in our opinion, they were all pretty decent. I think the bottom two were just, eh. They didn't love it. These, you can't live up to these two. It's tough. It is so. tough. And this one, I thought, I thought fared pretty well. I thought it the did. The Starlight too. did. These two... Mm, not so much. So, hey, that's what we have for you tonight. That's what we came up with. Love to hear your comment in the comments, your suggestions for any other double oak product yeah. or release that we don't have here in the bar. We'd like, we'd love to hear it. So, if you can, let us know what you think. We appreciate you watching. We love each and every one of you. Thanks so much. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time right down here with me and the whiz kid in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.